One of the earliest groups that rejected the way of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu were the Qadariyya. The Prophet والسلام, said, the Qadariyya are the Magians of this community. If they're ill, don't pay them a sick visit, and if they die, don't attend their funerals. They appeared in the time of the Sahaba, and the great Sahabi Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, when asked about them said, when you happen to meet such people, tell them that I have nothing to do with them and they have nothing to do with me. He swore by Allah and said, if any one of them had with him gold equal to the bulk of Mount Uhud and spent it in the way of Allah, Allah would not accept it unless he affirmed his faith in divine decree. So if someone says, We actually claim to follow and get inspired from the first and original theological group, which was the Qadariyya. Then they're telling you they oppose the Sunnah. But what about those who claim to follow the Sunnah, yet encourage their audience to listen to such misguidance for hours while bypassing what the Prophet said about the Qadariyya? What a misguided and reckless methodology.